indeed, a decade ago, one man stood up with a vision, a person who is Zionist at heart, at believing in the importance of the state of Israel and the values that it represents, very sober, and a person who saw the importance of the existence of a professional strategic research center that would be non-partisan and independent, Mr. Frank Lowy, who is a Holocaust survivor, fought in the Golani Brigade in the War of Independence, a successful businessman in Australia, pushed for and really was the leading figure behind the establishment of the INSS. I now have the honor to invite Mr. Frank Lowy, the chairman of the board, in order to give us his address. Thank you very much, Amos. Dear friends and distinguished guests of the INSS, hello, one and all. As the chairperson of the board of the INSS, it is a tremendous honor for me to be here as we open the 10th International INSS Conference. Over the next two days, we will convene here in the Eretz Israel Museum to learn of the in-depth research that goes on in the INSS. We will be listening to speakers from Israel and from abroad. And of course, we will also meet friends who share the concern for this state of Israel and its security with the INSS. Just like in previous annual INSS conference, in this conference, this conference as well re reflects the contribution it has to public debate in Israel and which completes the direct approach of its senior, the direct influence that the senior scholars of the INSS have over decision makers in Israel. This is the purpose of the INSS and this is the reason for my own personal involvement in the Institute. Now it is a great honor for me to invite to the stage the President of the State of Israel, Mr. Reuven Rivlin, to give his address his Excellency, it is a great. It was a great uh, honor for me in the opportunity I had to meet you in Jerusalem a while ago when we presented to you the strategic assessment for Israel of the INSS for 2017. His Excellency, please. 